Hey, welcome to this video on warming up your body before you sit down to meditate. These are some stretches that I learned at Authentic Kung Fu in Fort Worth, Texas with Sifu Steve Cottrell. And I want to share them with you because I always do them before I meditate and I feel like they really make a difference for getting ready to sit. To begin with, I usually sit sort of first thing in the morning and I like to do these warm ups to kind of get my body moving and feel ready in the morning to do something physical. These stretches also help to protect your joints by getting some of the protective fluids, the synovial fluids in the joints going. And um, it's almost like a cushioning or lubrication between the joints. So it helps keep them comfortable as you sit. So we'll start with the ankles. And with each ankle, you'll put the ball of the foot on the ground and leave it there. And then move your heel around in big circles. So the heel is going in as big a circle as is comfortable. If you like to think of going to kind of the four corners of the range of motion of the joint, you can do that and then just roll through them. I like to do about seven or eight circles in this direction and then you go the other way. And as you do this, you can start to bring your attention into the joint so that it's sort of the beginning of your mindfulness practice, just noticing the sensations in the joint as you warm it up. You should feel a little warmth, maybe a little stretch, but nothing too intense. Okay, now we'll do the other side. Again, the ball of the foot stays on the ground. The heel moves in big circles so that we're really focusing on the ankle. Again, seven or eight times in this direction, and then we roll back the other way. And it should feel good. If you've had any ankle injuries or if anything hurts, just try making a smaller circle. Or if this one just doesn't work for you, you can skip it. And next we'll do the knees. So when you're doing the knees, it's important to start with your feet together. So your knees are pretty much together. And we're doing something similar with the knees. We're making a circle. So we're again rolling through the natural range of motion for the joint. This is not a yoga stretch. We're not trying to increase the range of motion for the joint. We're just warming it up. So again, seven or eight times in one direction, seven or eight times in the opposite direction. And the knees should feel pleasantly warm. But if this hurts, you might make a smaller circle or you might just skip this exercise. And next we'll do the hips. And for the hip stretch, we'll have the feet about shoulder width apart. And here we're trying to isolate the motion of the hips. So just imagine moving your pelvis in those big circles. You should be feeling that ball and socket joint of the hip as it rolls around. You'll probably feel this also a bit in the lower back. Just feeling that stretch. And again, reverse, go back the other way. I find this one really helpful because my lower back tends to get pretty stiff. So even if you only do this one, it can be really great for warming up those hips and getting them ready to sit. Next we'll do the shoulders. So if you'd like, you can roll both shoulders at once up to your ears forward and then down as far as you can get them up again like that. So you're making just big circles with your shoulders. And then you reverse, bringing your shoulders up to your ears and then down your back. Again, we're trying to roll through the entire range of motion of the joint. If you're up for a little bit more of a challenge, you can also do your shoulders independently. So they're rolling, I guess you could say in opposite directions. Uh, they're, each of them is doing its own thing, but they're still rolling up toward the ear and then down the front. And then you reverse that and they're both rolling up toward the ear down the back. Next we'll do the neck. 
So if you've had any neck issues or neck injuries, you might not wanna do this one or you might wanna just do very, very small circles. But what we're gonna do basically is to try and keep the neck as still as possible and roll the head as much as possible. So if we were moving the whole neck from here, we'd be rolling these big circles. We're gonna try and keep it as still as possible and, and focus on the motion of the head. So the head rolls around and we're not going very far down like this. We're just keeping the circles pretty small, but you should be feeling a stretch and a warm up in this area of the neck. If you're making the bigger circles, you feel it more in the shoulders. So if that's comfortable for you, you can certainly do that kind of stretch too, just rolling the neck like that. It's not really recommended if you're doing bigger circles to roll the neck all the way around. So you might wanna just roll it from side to side. Uh, but again, that's not necessarily recommended for people with neck issues. So if you wanna do it like this, which is a safer way, just roll in small circles. You can feel the stretch on the front, on the side, then on the back. And once again, just turn around, roll the other way. However many times feels comfortable for you. So once you've do, done this, you've gotten your whole body ready to sit from your ankles all the way up to your neck. Uh, I find it's a really great warm up. It's a great transition also from being engaged with all the other stuff in your day to kind of bringing your attention into the body and getting ready to do your seated meditation. And of course, if you're not gonna do seated meditation, if you're gonna do walking or standing meditation instead, this is still a great warm up. I totally recommend it no matter what type of meditation you're doing. And it also makes a really nice little stretch break if you are working behind a computer, as so many of us do, and you wanna just take a couple minutes break and move your body and you don't have anywhere to move to, you can just stand up and do these little stretches, it takes maybe two to three minutes. And once again, you've moved your entire body. So thank you for watching. I hope you get some benefit out of these stretches and let me know how they work for you. All right, thanks, bye.